Okay. Well, I just wanted to document this um, com.apple.quarantine bug, which is extremely frustrating. What I'm going to show you is we're going to go into this test folder that I've created, com.apple.quarantine. It's just a folder on the desktop. So that's it there. Have a quick look through. There's just those three files that you can see in there. And we'll have a look at the attributes that those files have. And as you can see, um, none of them have the com.apple.quarantine attribute attached to them at this moment in time. Except watch this. Double click on it, it's opening. Double click on it again. Now the file is damaged and can't be opened, you should move it to the trash. And if you noticed, there was that little delay in the um, uh, opening animation as well that appears on there. Normally it happens right after I hit the cancel button. Um, anyway. What we'll do is we're going to look at the attributes again, and now com.apple.quarantine has attached itself to that, and as you can see above, it was not there before. So let's have a look at this iPhone um, JPEG. This is JPEG for the iPhone X, just a regular JPEG. Nothing spectacular about it. And as you can see, it's got attributes, but none of them are com.apple.quarantine. Except, now, it's got the quick, just by literally opening it, the operating system touching it, it's got the quarantine. It's damaged, can't be open. You should move it to the trash. Well, we know it's not damaged. We know what's causing it. <coughs> it's the uh, com.apple.quarantine flag. All right, so this large.mp4 file, as you can see, nothing on it. We're going to open that up. And it's basically this funky Alexa thing that Apple have ripped off or produced or whatever they've done. Anyway, um, oh look, large mp4 now has com.apple.quarantine, which means that it's damaged and can't be open, you should move it to the trash. And that's the bug. Um, know how to fix it. That's the solution, just to delete it. But if every time the operating system touches one of these files it does that which means you can't open the same file twice so 800 gigs of files that were transferred over onto this laptop from the old MacBook to this new MacBook and the culprit appears to be transfer assistant and we have done everything. We've spent about four hours on the phone with Apple over this, and they can't fix it. Um, we've reinstalled the operating system. We have reset the SMC. We have blah, blah, blah. We have done pretty much everything other than format the hard drive. Um, anyhow. This is the bug, com.apple.quarantine, 800 gigs of files this has done. So, so basically what happened once we did the um, transfer, used transfer assistant to go from the old MacBook to the new MacBook. Every single file was tagged with it, so none of them would open. Then we deleted the this preference, all the files are fine. All the data is correct. Those files that we had checksums for, we've checked. 
they're all fine. It's this Commodore Apple.quarantine flag. Anyway, anybody got any better clues as to why the operating system is doing this? Um, Gatekeeper has been disabled and when that happens the problem goes away. As soon as you lock the operating system down for apps, uh, App Store apps or App Store and sign developers, this happens. Didn't happen on the old machine. The old machine had 10.13.3. The new machine's got 10.13.3. Um, somewhere in this, it got funked up and even reinstall, reinstall in um, High Sierra has failed to solve this problem. So, anybody got any good ideas? Because I haven't got a clue.